All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we're talking about how do you eat for maximum muscle growth? How do you eat to ensure you build the most amount of muscle possible? Because I see a lot of information online with these science-based nerds referencing this study and talking about this thing and that thing, and it's just completely just way over complicated things and there's so much conflicting information online how do you know who to believe well i'm going to talk about my personal experience how i went from like 75 kg to 102 that i'm at right now and the principles that i take my clients through and i'm going to keep this nice and simple this is going to be super easy for you to understand and this is a video that i wish i had uh, when i was just starting out on my journey okay so i got five tips for you let's dive in now the first tip is you've got to be in a calorie surplus okay you have to be in a calorie surplus because the food that you eat is the building blocks for the muscle and if you don't have enough building blocks it's like if you're building a house okay and you don't have enough bricks to finish the house is the house gonna get built no it's not gonna get built because you've run out of bricks and that's what happens if you don't eat enough food now, I know someone out there is gonna be saying, oh, well, you can actually build muscle in a calorie deficit. Yet, you might be able to, depending on your experience and your supplementation and everything else that's going on. But, even with that said, is that optimal? We're talking about what is the optimal, what is the best way to build, uh, how, best way to eat to build muscle? Well, in that case, you wanna be in a calorie surplus, but you don't wanna be in too high of a calorie surplus because you'll gain excess body fat at a rate faster than you're building muscle and it'll ruin your physique uh, and you'll just get fat and soft and you won't just be a, you won't be happy with how you're looking <coughs> i'm not a big fan of these like crazy bulk cycles you know where you just eat look tons and tons and tons of food i believe you can look good all the way through uh, your gaining phase your bulking phase uh, and then obviously at some point you go into a cutting phase so you need to be in a calorie surplus first of all if you don't know how to work out your um sort of your maintenance calories uh, there's a calculator i'll link it down below that you can put in your height and your weight and your activity levels and it'll tell you roughly how many calories you need to eat to maintain where you're at right now once you have your maintenance calories you want to make sure you're anywhere from 300 to 500 calories in a surplus so you're eating 300 to 500 calories more than you're burning okay now if you are the sort of person that puts on weight quite easily okay you easily gain weight then you want to be on this lower end of around 300 calorie surplus however if you're someone who you know finds it difficult to gain weight uh, for example for myself uh, i much preferred being at this higher end of a 500 calorie surplus okay so that's point number one is you've got to make sure you're in a calorie surplus to give your body the building blocks it needs to build the muscle. Which brings me on to point number two, which is adequate protein intake. You need to make sure, guys, you're eating enough protein, okay? And a good rule of thumb that I always aim for, this never changes, whether I'm bulking, cutting, <coughs> whatever, I always aim for this target, which is one gram per pound of body weight, okay? So you work out your body weight in pounds, uh, and then, that's how many grams of protein you need to be consuming. Very simple, uh, protein is the main building block for uh, your muscles. If you're not getting enough protein, it's gonna affect recovery, it's gonna affect performance, and you, if you, you're not gonna build muscle without protein. It is an absolute non-negotiable. For me personally, I prefer to get protein from animal sources, animal foods, because the protein is just far more uh, bioavailable and easily digestible uh, I'm, I've tried a vegan diet before I'm not a fan I might piss some people off saying that but uh, I've tried it I wasn't a fan uh, if you're going for optimum muscle growth and muscle mass definitely uh, do not do uh, a vegan diet okay guys step number three evenly space out your meals <coughs> right every time you eat there's something that's called protein synthesis, okay? And protein synthesis is uh, an action that occurs in the body, which is the process of turning uh, the protein that you've eaten uh, into you know, muscle tissue, okay? And this happens every time you eat a meal with protein in it. So ideally, we want this to happen multiple times a day. Eating one meal 
is going to be suboptimal from a protein synthesis standpoint so for this reason i recommend four to five meals per day this is if we're optimizing completely for muscle growth now if we're optimizing for productivity you know it's a whole different ball, ball game or fat loss or whatever but we're optimizing purely for muscle growth you want to give yourself as much as many chances throughout the day to grow muscle right so i would say three to five meals is a good target to aim for any more than five like you know it's just going to be uh, harder to do for most people because we've got lives to live at the end of the day um three would be the absolute minimum but i would say four or five is ideal so four or five meals spread out throughout the day in every single meal <coughs> you want roughly the same amount of protein okay you want to evenly space out <coughs> excuse me still feeling a bit ill you want to evenly space out your protein throughout the day and throughout the meals okay step number four eat real foods now this is where i see a lot of people online you know when they're in a bulking phase they just think oh i can eat whatever i want pizza pasta you know just go all out and just eat all these crap foods and while you can still make gains doing that is it optimal no it's not because anytime you're eating non-processed foods they're degrading your health slowly over time and the less healthy you are the harder it is for you to build muscle and the harder it is for many aspects of your life like if you put it this way if you're not in a good state of health you're not going to build muscle so why take the chance with eating uh, crap foods all the time does that mean to say you have to be an absolute maniac and never have a cheat ever no of course not i mean i would say if like 90 percent of your diet is good and you want to have a couple of meals a week which are off plan <coughs> excuse me maybe even a day sometimes <coughs> oh my god <coughs> then you know go ahead and <coughs> go ahead and go for it okay but do not do this all the time and don't rely on those foods just rely on foods that don't need ingredients they don't need labels they're just real foods you know a chicken breast is a chicken breast you don't really need a label on it and steak and uh, etc and i prefer animal foods excuse me uh, animal foods are my preferred choice uh, you can do it with other foods but uh, I would say make sure you're just eating real foods not processed foods and that's going to help you uh, that's going to keep you healthy and it's going to make it easier in the long run uh, to, to build muscle I've got flies all around here and stuff as well anyway point number five is <coughs> excuse me macros what should your macros be okay we've got three macros protein fats and carbohydrates we've already talked about protein okay so you want to make sure you're eating one gram per pound of body weight okay now we need fats because fats are uh, important for hormones and just overall health and feeling good if you don't get any fat in your diet you're going to feel like crap okay so we need to have some fat in there uh, but we don't need to have too much okay so a good target to aim for is 0.3 grams per pound of body weight okay so you work out your protein which is one gram per pound of body weight then you work out your fats which is 0.3 grams per pound of body weight and we also know what our calorie target is okay so then we just fill up the rest of the calories with carbs okay that's my strategy that's what I like to do uh, carbs are gonna fuel the workouts they're gonna help with uh, getting nutrients into the muscle uh, it's gonna help with you feeling uh, keeping your muscles full and help with recovery and all sorts of aspects with regards to training can you do can you build muscle on keto sure can you build muscle on a uh, carnivore yeah sort of but is it optimal no it's not you've got to have uh, carbohydrates in your diet if you want to optimize for as much muscle as possible okay guys so if you as long as you're in a calorie surplus you've got adequate protein you're evenly spacing out your meals between four and five meals you're eating real foods <coughs> and your macros are on point a lot you, you with regards to nutrition you're doing everything right and just play the long game now if you if your training's not there then none of this matters because you, you need to make sure that your training is optimized for muscle growth as well which i actually made a video on that yesterday which you can check out and if your training's right and your nu nutrition is right, just play the long game. A big mistake that people make is they just don't stick with the plan long enough. They keep changing things every few weeks because you just, 
I know, I know what it's like, okay? You just want immediate results. You just want it now. You just want your dream physique now. But unfortunately, it doesn't happen that way, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day and neither were your physique. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take perseverance. And it's, you just gotta play the long game. <coughs> this is a, you know, years in the making. You can build a good physique and you can do it quickly if you're doing everything right but also persevere and don't be looking to take any shortcuts, guys, okay? So that's your training and your nutrition. <laughs> if those two things are on point and you're still not making any progress, well, chances are it's something to do with your health or your lifestyle uh, or something like that. There's some, something going wrong, wrong there, and that's what I'm gonna make future videos about, so stay tuned for that. I might actually do uh, a supplement video as well, the best supplements for optimizing muscle growth. So consider sticking around if you wanna see that. And that's it guys. So I hope you found this video helpful. You can help, you can head to jamessweetland.com for coaching and I'll talk to you in the next one.